A key feature of Spectralight QC is the ability to create reports and share instrument performance and other information within a supply chain. This helps supply chain partners to understand consistencies and inconsistencies between visual color approval points within the supply chain. Through the Spectralight QC's PC-based reporting application, you can print reports that show lamp condition, operator name, profiles, and certification to send along with your physical samples or to send electronically. Spectralight QC's reports can also help you analyze rejected samples and determine the cause of the problem, lowering the rejection rate of samples through faster and easier troubleshooting. You can produce both system and conformance reports. A conformance report includes calibration information, lamp status, lamp serial numbers, and other information about your instrument. A system report can provide valuable information about how your lamps are functioning. Before you can run a system report, you need to run a test on the lamps, which can take up to 10 minutes. See the system information section in your user manual if you need the steps. To run a report, select Programs, X-Rite, Spectralight QC to launch the application. Click the System Report PDF or XML button to generate a report on the system lamps, or the Conformance Report button to run a conformance report. All reports are stored in a folder. To access them, click the View Reports button. For more information about the Spectralight QC application, check your user manual. In the admin menu of the Spectralight QC, you can customize the owner information that appears on your reports. The company, department, location, brand, and additional remarks that you specify will appear on any report you generate. From the main menu, press and hold the More button until you see Setup. Press Admin to access the Advanced Setup 1 screen. Use the up and down arrows to highlight the option, then press Edit to enter the editing screen. Press the left, right, up and down arrows to highlight the letters and numbers. Press Enter to add a character. If you choose the wrong one, click back to erase it and try again. You are allowed up to 15 characters. Continue until the name is complete, then press Done and Yes. To finish, press Exit and return to the main menu.